Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the NLG Finals. Benson and TP casting Justice versus Optic Gaming. Optic find their way 3 1 into the lead, heading over now to a solar search and destroy. This one over, T. It's looking like it, to be honest. Moving over to this other search, Solar, one of OG's best SDs yep. for sure. Looked pretty comfortable on that riot, just completely taking map control whenever they want. And it just makes me so angry. They rotated once in the hard point and got 80 seconds <laughs> off of it. It's funny. I, it, I was just, they're so good when they right. want to be, when they make the correct decisions and make it easy on themselves. Yep. Make your kills matter. They get a billion kills. Most of them aren't mattering, yeah. to be quite I mean, honest. I just had a quick look at Twitter and a lot of people, uh, professional players themselves, trying to be now saying they rotated. They just wouldn't be losing and yeah. these games wouldn't be close. Which is weird because I feel like at the beginning of the game, they didn't rotate at all. They just plowed through and it worked. It, to, to their right. credit, it did work. Then they kind of started to rotate a little bit and, and then now all of a sudden it's as if they've gone back again to where they're just not doing it at all. And some of these games are much, much closer than they are. Teams they eventually be. figured out how to set up and hold a hard point effectively. And once that started to happen, it made rotating have to be a thing. It started, it turned into a thing where you had to set up on the actual hill right. and get the first 15 seconds or so of intro time. But on a, on some of these other DLC maps, it's more a traditional type of hard point. If you rotate, you're gonna end up winding, winding up getting a lot of time. Search and Destroy Solar kicks off Justice on the attacking side first. And it will be Spacely on your screens. Spacey really trying to take his time here. Of course, we'll be carrying that bomb. And already first blood falls. It's Karma that goes down. Scumpy is in a position to pick up one of his own, though. Spacely, so wise, anticipated someone to be up there, but Krem also anticipated him as well. So, three versus two in favor of Optic Gaming. Definitely a tough position to drop that bomb was Space Krem peeking around the corner once again. Assault, able to even it out at a 2v2. Formal with that snipe. Pretty darn deadly with it, especially on this map. Nice pick, though, from Assault now, 1v1. Assault going for the ace for Scump. This would be a big round for him. 30 seconds, time ticking. Of course, he does need to make the play. Scumpy being very wise, playing it very, very passively and patiently. I think, honestly, Assault could have this one, but no, Scumpy does pick up the kill. And you can see communications from him. It's a second kill of the round. Just such quick reactions, I feel. If you're in a 1v1 with Scump, the last place you want to meet him is in close quarters like that. Yeah, Seth always puts himself in positions like that, just roaming around purple. He's going to come around the corner, out reaction time you, and just melt you. It's what he's been the best at at this game. Always yeah, being that aggressive, really taking those gunfights that he knows he's going to be advantageous in. Works out every time for him. Good 1v1. And it's looking pretty bad for Justice right now. Need. Uh, some early rounds, honestly, if they have any sort of chance in bringing this best of seven back. Scumpy on your screens. To gaming, of course, on the attacking side, you see them kind of make a play over towards B and then slow down a little bit. Bomb carrier, Krim six. Karma falls again, second round for first blood. That leaves Krim desperately trying to hunt out someone from Justice, but Justice on the defensive side, making a bit of a play of their own here. And there is going to be one play hit. He, to highlight, and in actual fact, three players fall, doesn't even matter. Four more left in a one versus three. Managed to pick up ten. This would be a one versus four clutch with a sniper rifle, but it's just not going to happen. Everyone from Justice started immediately to run it. Tough situation. Nice first bloods early in the oh, round there from Just. Yeah, yeah. Needed that round Just desperately to there. answer back. Just needs to step it up, though, on this offense. What kind of strategy would you like to see them use? Um, Something a little bit different, maybe? Just I, honestly, rush. playing them, I'd be pretty scared of formal sniper at mid. So probably just trying to strong arm, get the bomb down as fast as possible at B. I don't think Optic Play is too aggressive on it. So maybe just get that bomb down, back up to that second hard point at, and at maps. Make formal a little bit irrelevant. Okay. He's, he's not going to be able to retake with a sniper as well, you know? So. Well, he pulled but, out a bell and you know? <laughs> kind of read exactly what you yeah. just said was going to happen. Did he hear me? Like, I think maybe he did. <laughs> Either that or you have some kind of crazy telepathic communication going on because he read that like an absolute book. Forces a one versus one. Krim six going up against Kenny. Cool. Kenny's going to fall. And Krim is going to propel up to gaming 2 1 into the league. Another 1v1 by Optic Gaming. That was one. Good stuff by Krim right here. Caught a little bit of a timing. Looked like he was going to be ready for the gunfight, but decided to slide jump instead. Krim just strafing around the corner. Great first blood by Formal right there. He yeah. said, hmm, I think they're going to go B. Bow on the top. Oil room. Easy kill for him. Good stuff from Optic. Changing it up back and forth. I guess he knew 
when to change it up. I guess that's yeah. why they've been so good for so <laughs> long, especially in this game. It makes sense now. <laughs> makes perfect sense. I love to see the adaptation and just changing it up, keeping the other team, just not knowing what's going on. Look at Karma's perspective. He is currently 0-3, trying to find his first kill of the game. I'll take this time, choosing to slow things down a little bit on the attacking side. Karma, not able to pick that one up. Throws out the stun. Doesn't look like anyone's going to be rushing towards him. Well, Formal will fall this time for first blood. Karma trying to make a play here, but he's going to fall once again. He's Krim and Scump in a 2v4. Situation for Krim does get the first one moving back towards the plat, trying to use his movement to find someone caught off guard but not able to do it. Another solid round defense is going back and forth for both teams. And if I had to give a tip for uh, OG right now, you know, Karma struggled initially on that riot, switched to that sniper. I mean, it's one of those things where between Crumbs, Krim, Scump, and Formal, mm -hmm. you know, they, they're fine. They got their, let them use your guns, and Karma should be there to. Take a little bit of a risk, you know? Maybe. Literally, as you say that, yeah, it's he pulls out a sniper. Same sort of thing, making those changes, it worked for him. He went on one, he ended on a sixth street, I think, on Riot when he switched over yeah. to the sniper rifle. I feel like he's just more used to it. Doesn't see anyone. I see the switch right there. That makes a lot of sense. You know, if they're if you think they're gonna go B, you got it. Having a sniper is pretty much useless, so good switches going on. Stuff I like to see from OG. Kama can find that first kill. Krim draws first blood. The pick on Spacely. He's come in a position to pick up one on Assault as well. Karma still just looking for one. And in this situation, when, you, when you're when you teaming with someone who is potentially struggling, I've heard Matt, Mr. Mr. X, kind of talk about trying to gift a kill to the teammate struggling. How would you do that right now, team, if you're on up the game? Is there a specific way you can do it, or is it just kind of a little bit of luck you need as well? I mean, it's all about timing, really. You have to expect where they're going to try and push at. Callouts is the best way to do it, I guess. Let him sort of take that avenue. If you know they're going B, let him be that first one, doing that double jump, checking bomb, things like that, to able to get that first kill. The first kill is always the hardest in SNG, so once you get it, feel a little bit more comfortable. Calms your nerves down, definitely. Grim up with this bomb right here. Great play right here. Knows when to get aggressive using the numbers to advance. Switches so, to the sub. Oh my so gosh. Good. Just makes it look so easy. That's not easy I by any like... means. Gets the kill. Switch weapons. Doesn't miss a bullet, okay. I don't think. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't right, think he missed I'll, at all. Go. You, you watch Krim and wow. I'm like, yo, I could do that. He makes me feel, he makes it look that easy. It's like, I could do that. Like He hits his hip simple. fire bullets when he's switching weapons. I, he, just doesn't miss. he does it all the time. It's unbelievable. Good stuff from the Krim bot right there. I'd like to see a sniper karma on this one, trying to get these, one of these picks at glass or middle or something like that, switching up a little bit. But completely understand, sticking with that battle, looks like they're doing a team push over at this bebop site. Say with Krim6, that nice round ending kill cam. Get anything going. Karma will be highlighted in yellow on that mini map. And you can see he may actually have a kill, but meanwhile, Spacely able to pick up two. Leaves Karma in a two versus four. Some shots down, just can't connect, can't get anything going. And fair play to Justice, level it up, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, definitely a tough situation. I don't think Krim will be too happy about that one. Going for the plant. There's two ways you need to watch. The blue doorway and the blue in the alley, the, the elbow is what I like to call it. Basically, you can easily hear the plant going down when you're in that B room, pop out the door, kill him, run away. That's what exactly what Spacey was able to do. Ended up getting two out of it. So I don't know who was supposed to be watching that doorway, but they messed up a little bit. Defenses, again, just going back and forth. Who's going to be the team to break through and get that O? Okay, Kenny, he's pulled out of the sniper rifle, and we know this guy can snipe. He hit some uh, pretty ludicrous shots. Potentially hunt out, I believe that's formal mid-map. Nothing as of yet. Really taking his time. There's a player sneaking up towards him. Kenny, nice movement. Stayed alive a lot longer than I thought he was going to do. Formal, able to pick up another one. 3v2 in favor of Optic Gaming now. Good trades going on at mid-map. Karma finally breaks in, gets that first blood at that P1 window. He's basically trying to move with the map, but all of OG there. Gunfight's going down. Assault trying to get this two-piece, but not able to do it. OG is the one of the best teams I've seen on SD swarming when they have numbers at their advantage now. Defense is again. Yep. Who's gonna be that first team? That that team's gonna be able to win the map. Karma able to pick up his first kill. And let's not forget what happened last time in Riot. Got his first kill, and all of a sudden, went on a little bit of a rampage towards the end of the game. See if he can try and do that here and close out this best of seven against okay. Justice. Still back and forth, very, very close. 
looking at Krim now on the attacking side. That switch up. Decide to push this A site, but it seems as if Justice have kind of anticipated that. Three man stacked. There will be a gunfight mid map. It's going to be four more. It's going to get outshot there. Krim now, can he find a kill? Should be able to do so, but that play from Justice stayed alive a very, very long time. The assist comes in. Krim challenges, picks up a kill. Two versus two. Him and Scump looking to clutch up against Assault and Spacely. Assault very strong in this SD so far. Nine and four. He is. I've casted a couple of their games so far, and the dude has been on point the entire tournament, especially in SD. I haven't seen him drop less than 11, I don't think. So definitely the player that needs to step up here. Huge 2v2. Crucial round, swing round. Either ties it up or up to Roji. So really starting to take his time now. All four players essentially have just managed to go the only route where they couldn't see each other. As they dance around each other. 30 seconds. To gaming need to plant from six with the bomb and it seems as if it may be an opening at the bomb site and i don't think hey he must have heard him surely can't pick up the kill so has to back away he's gonna be challenged by scum dashes backwards gets the stomp and tj actually with a, a team kill that was spacely 1v1 versus crim bomb goes down crim still on the bomb spacely challenges and crim picks up the kill a fantastic clutch from him and that team kill, how costly could that one have been? Oh, such unlucky plays from Just right there. Just trying to help his team out a little bit. Didn't fully trust it, but I completely understand. You're yeah. trying to get that team shot off. That one bullet can always matter in gunfights like that. The one thing I have to critique is Krim just had planted. You have two stuns. Stun the bomb. Stun check. Jay Capital. I'm joking. <laughs> Jay Capital. That joke's been overused way too many times. But use your stuns, man. Blind them. You have them. Why not use him? Yeah, you know exactly where he is. He didn't use right. it. He has a sub. Stun him. Slide dash. Double jump. Dead. He didn't do it. Krim has better gun skill. It's simple. Actually, yes. Justice. Now, backs against the wall. Uh, winner's bracket life on the line. As it's going to be Space League with the bomb. Just kind of waiting that up to gaming. Very patiently. Looks like they're going to try and bait. A couple of kills already down. Formal. Able to make the better of it. Space League looking to level it up. Two versus two now. Adds the support of a teammate, Kenny. He's basically trying to do it all. Can Kenny trade a kill? He is in absolute no man's land to do that. One versus two now. And against up to gaming. It's not looking good. And OG secure the win. Finally, an offense round was won. Krim with multiple 1v1 clutches during that map. What he does best, what he you know, strives to do. A little bit of a slow start from Krim in this series, I would say, but definitely stepped it up. 41 on the compound. 10 in this one. Krimbot stepping it up when it matters the most. Quality win from OG, finally making some better plays. Let's see if they start rotating a little bit in hard point. You hear me, guys? Rotate. Good work, though. I mean, they, they take the series. It's going to sound a lot more comfortable when you look at the bracket later on, but definitely wasn't. Justice showing for the second tournament in a row that they really do have a lot of potential. It's a very talented team that can come out and, and really take it to the best teams. But still, when I look at the so-called best teams, the tier one, tier two teams, still have denial right now is looking like one of the strongest phase already down in the loser's bracket. It could have been a lot closer from the you gaming there. You can definitely see the chinks in the armor and mm. eventually you're gonna get punished. It's just what team is that going to be? Well, that's gonna do it from myself and TP now over to the analyst desk to get their thoughts. All right, thank you, Benson. Jack, we were watching that one pretty intently. Maven was kind of a, a little bit flabbergasted by Optic Gaming when uh, Justice is able to take that first win. Maven, what did you see from the guys in this match against Optic Gaming that yeah, uh, was actually, different from the Bravo stream? I wasn't that shocked. I actually was so close to tweeting after game one, I was like, Justice is taking this series. Because again, I casted them all day. They look so strong, specifically in hard point. We know how Optic's been starting slow. What I see specifically, Formal, the only one that really showed up in the site department. I think yep. he dropped 39 in game number one. Krim was 18 and 39 or something. A non-factor, really. Yeah, and then you can't get that from him. In the second hard point, what happened? Formal drops 41. 39 again, but Krim has a monster game. There has to be somebody else there to supplement it. They didn't get that in game one, and two or three guys went off from Justice. Yeah, and this was a great adjustment, really, from Optic Gaming to be able to bounce back after that first game loss. Obviously, Justice coming to this one a team that has nothing to lose. I, again, this is a squad that they yeah. don't have all this pressure on them. Optic Gaming, they lose None. to Justice. That's all you hear about online, right, yeah. on Reddit, on Twitter. Yeah. In this one, though, able to bounce back, which is a great thing to see from them. Also, you heard from Teep as that game ended. Optic were just trying to muscle into the hard points, and that's really when they went from being a dominant team to struggling when they thought, hey, we can just kind of run into these. If we just let our gun skill carry us, it's going to 
Let us well, win. It wasn't working. It makes in game me one. think back about the start of this game. Remember how they were all playing at the team house and they were crushing everyone at hard points? They'd let, they wouldn't rotate at all. Yeah. They'd let team get right. the hard point. It comes to the first tournament. They're losing all their hard points. They're like, what the hell? We've been playing wrong. I feel like they got lazy again over several months. And sometimes they just have to be like, oh, we got to think a little bit and yeah. not just run around and gun. Rough Friday, stronger Saturday. But Justice, we kind of talked about this team earlier. When we first saw them on the main stage, we said, okay, this is a team that has potential. Yeah. They get second in their pool, they get to the winner's bracket. Now they're headed to the loser's bracket. How far does this squad go? Are they top eight? I mean, uh, for me personally, they, can, they they're definitely a, they have a chance to be a dark horse. It's another one that I think, you know, ISO I think is going to move to the loser's bracket. I think there's a chance for them as well. Yeah. I, I really, I, I, for some reason, I get a feeling it's not going to happen. I don't know what it is. I'd have to look to see which had a bracket so well, but so exactly. You, match up with. you never know. They might get a bad draw. Phase, I got a bracket Phase is down you. there now. Phase is down there. My, so my, I, that was my concern. Yeah. They run into Phase early. That, that's where I'm terrified. Right. If they are on that side of the bracket, they don't have to deal with Phase. Can they make a top eight run? Sure. Oh, and now down there, too. Let's take a look at our winner's bracket to start here, guys. Optic Gaming moving on to play Envy. Update there from Bravo, Hot 4-0. Talking to Mr. X, he's like, this was one of the best series I've seen out of JCap. The man was just clutching up in SNGs, dropping 40 bombs in the response. A different JCap than we saw last night where he's a bit more inconsistent. Envy definitely looking like a threat in this tournament. One of the big surprises coming in. At the bottom there, you see the major shocker, though. TJ Howe in this Elevate crew steamrolling face and some of the respawns. It was 100, uh, 132 to 250 in the first respawn for yep. the hard point. They doubled the numbers in the second. Really impressive stuff from Elevate. And now we're going to see Denial, the only team that has not dropped a game yet in this tournament, try and make another run to the winner's final. Funny, funny stat. I thought of this when I was sitting over with Benson. Saints, specifically as a player, I was thinking, I was like, I feel like he's always around at the end of the game. Second place in the final UMG for Black Ops 2 was UMG Dallas. He got second on Soar to Vanquish. Going into uh, Ghost then, it was also, I believe, UMG Nashville. He got second. Uh, they were playing as Denial. They got second to, was it Envy at that? No, I don't I think Envy lost at that event. But they got second. It was back-to-back -back final events in each game. Saints has gotten second. I'm calling. Oh, gosh. Elevate number two. Elevate two. I'm right. feeling it. So how low it. does FaZe finish? And why that popped in my head, I have no idea. I was just thinking about the fact that Saints always around at the end of the game, even though we haven't really talked about it that much, right? Yeah, I mean, and, and the big thing to look at, you just mentioned, where does FaZe finish? Yeah. We've already kind of seen this this issue with the losers bracket. They had that, t what, top 12 finish at an event uh, just earlier on a couple months ago, then they bounced back with first. How much of, like, that would be such a bad feeling if I was a member of FaZe to kind of finish off on what was looking like a really positive ending to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with another top 12, top maybe eight performance. You know, you know, Clayster and Enable don't want to find themselves in that spot. Also something to point out, a lot of storylines in this winner's bracket. So much to look forward to. Obviously the new Envy Optic Gaming, the last uh, season three playoffs, they went into the finals looking great and they got destroyed in those two best of sevens. Yeah. We'll see how far Optic goes. Yep. They haven't been as dominant as they once were, but they also are not faltering when a squad that looks so dominant like FaZe did. So, yeah. and they're a Sunday team. We haven't even touched up. They're a Sunday team. Yeah. Optic always has been a Sunday team. But I, the semifinals are being played tonight. <laughs> that's that's, <laughs> a, that's that the scary part. Yeah, it's a big that. deal, yeah, yeah. guys. So keep your eye out. Optic Gaming going up against Envy. Elevate taking on Denial. Will Elevate be the first team to take a game off of them? Maybe even the match if they keep playing the way they did earlier. We'll also keep you updated with what's going on with FaZe Optic Nation and more as the loser's bracket will continue throughout the evening. Guys, more Call of Duty live from New Orleans when we return.